Welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel. Yeah, what is the connection between this T-Rex and this nice CPU? And what is chip die art? All this right now after the intro. What if I tell you that you can find an image of this T-Rex directly on the silicon die of this CPU? Layouters and designers of semiconductors have always fun to implement some kind of easter eggs, chip art or cartoons directly on the silicon die. There are some brands well known for really nice chip art. This is for instance HP or SGI. And this is what I would like to share with you by today. I prepared some CPUs which contain some nice chip art. So come with me and explore live under the microscope the layout of the CPUs and finding T-Rex and other nice cartoons and arts. The microscope I'm using is an old Triocular Lights Wetzlar from Germany, which is in still pretty good shape. This reflecting light microscope is equipped with five high quality objectives 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 and oculars with 12.5 times magnification. This gives us in total a magnification of 1250 times. I upgraded this microscope also with a full HD camera, which gives us the possibility to take live videos or high resolution pictures on the PC. As a light source I'm using a 5 watt LED and additional polarizing filters makes this microscope the best choice of observing metal surfaces or in our case the silicon die of an old CPU. Here are the CPUs I prepared and opened for this video. These are all RISC CPUs, the MIPS 4400, the R10K, the R12K and the HP PA7100. Leave a comment below if you are interested on how to open a ceramic CPU and if I should do a video tutorial about that. But now it's time for the microscope. Here we are with the R10000, manufactured by NEC and developed by MIPS Technologies. We start here in the corner and we can see already the connected bond wires and some nice structures very clear. The R10000 was introduced in 1996 with a clock of 195 MHz and priced with 3000 US dollars. Yeah, and here we have already our first kind of art, uh, the MIPS logo, MIPS RISC certified power. Very nice and very clear. Down here we can see also the copyright sign of MIPS. So let's put it to the focus. Here we have copyright MIPS technology and NEC 1995. What you can also usually find on the CPUs are the initials of project members or designers and here we have them. So these are a lot of letters from people who were working on this CPU. So and now I will show you two nice cartoons on this die hidden between somewhere in the layout. Of course I know already where they are. Sorry for the blurry image in between but I have to move the plate and also set the focus by side. Due to this very narrow focus point at this magnification and the fact that the ceramic of the CPU is not 100% flat in a microscopic point of view brings the image always out of the focus. Yeah, and here we have them already. Let's put it to the focus. So, yeah. And here we can nicely see two cartoons between here somewhere in the layout of this chip. Here we have Bart Simpson, very nice, and here Godzilla, very funny. Aren't they neat? And this everything somewhere in between the chip. Yeah, let's bring it a little bit higher with the magnification. So I will go now to 250 times of magnification and now we can see our sweet Godzilla very clear and also nice this color around so an absolute nice easter egg in the middle of this chip
It would be nice to know what the motivation was to put here Godzilla and Bart Simpson, favorites of some layouters, or is there another story behind? Who knows? Anyhow, it's exciting to discover something like that in the middle of a complex CPU. Even looking at the structure of complex layers, lines and knots is very exciting and brings you to the point where you ask yourself, how the hell is something so small able to work? Yeah, and here we have again some initials. I assume that they were all members of the project team. Due to the fact that I'm working for a chip manufacturer too, I know that initials of lead layouters, designers and verification engineers are mostly somewhere integrated. Here you can also nicely see how the bond wire is connected to the bonding pad on the silicon. This is not glued or soldered. The wire gets connected there by pressing on it by a machine. The same also at the other side on the ceramic substrate. The bond wire is connected to the gold bed, which leads at the end to the pin of the ceramic. So, now we are at the next CPU, the R12K, which is a derivative of the R10K, started by MIPS and completed by SGI. On this CPU we can find some really nice art and of course our T-Rex. Let's go straight on to find them. Yeah, and here we are. Here we have some nice art in between the chip. What we can see here is on the top the Silicon Graphics logo, then written Silicon Graphics computer system 1997. Then we have here also our nice T-Rex and beside the T-Rex a table with a lot of names in it. Underneath here are 12,000 in the shape of a um, car license plate, very nice, California, you can see some trees and July 1997, looks pretty neat and it's a nice idea and due to the fact that this chip is produced in Silicon Valley in California, they choose this kind of license plate. Yeah, let's go higher with the magnification to check our T-Rex now nicely and where is it yeah left side a little bit so and here we are here we have our t-rex and <laughs> funny this t-rex seems to have a guitar in his hand uh, playing some music and here the picture of the connection i showed you in the beginning of this video so uh, the shape of this t-rex actually is very sharp but it's even hard to get the whole T-Rex very clear and sharp so it seems that this T-Rex is made of several layers on this chip and due to the high magnification the focus point is very narrow so I could not even um, focus on the whole T-Rex at once. So what else do we have here? A little bit down I found a holy Egypt figure, Anubis, the god and guard of the dead in the underworld. Nice art with accurate details. So each R12K CPU has its own guardian for the underworld after getting trashed. I also found something strange which I have no idea what it could be. Let's go a little bit to the left side. So here we are. Yeah, here we have some art. So here this is a guy with a cigar in his mouth. And on the right side we have here two strange signs. I have no idea what this could be. It looks somehow like two faces. Focus, so a little bit to the left. Yeah. So it looks like these are two faces inside its written state. On the right side it looks like a, a woman and on the left side it looks like somehow a, a male face. But I have no idea what this could be or from where this is. If you have an idea, please leave a comment below. Here we are with the next CPU, the HP PA7100 from the year 1994. Here in the corner we can see already the HP logo and if you compare to other CPUs, the bond wire connection is not really visible. 
The reason for that is that the whole die is covered with some thick transparent gel layer for protection purposes. But luckily it's transparent enough to have a nice view on the structures. On the CPU we can find my most favorite hidden image. Let's go straight for it. Yeah, and here we have it. Look at that. Wow. This is a very nice and huge hummingbird on this CPU. And the message from the creator, this bird is for you. Wow. Very, very nice. So this chip art is definitely meant to be found. Very cute and so accurate in details. Isn't it fascinating? We have here a, a complex RISC CPU, sophisticating technology for computing and in the middle of, of this you can find a bird. This is really cool. Imagine nobody ever is opening an old CPU like that and exploring the layout with a microscope. Hidden in the dark forever, <laughs> but not in our case here. And think about how many semiconductors might be out there which has never been observed like that until now. I think all the creators of this kind of chip art wish that somebody someday will find all their nice images. So last but not least, the R4400 CPU, developed by MIPS Technologies. Here we can find again a car license plate with R4400 written in it. The date and again California. Down in there the words the state of the art. Below of the plate also some copyrights and dates. On this CPU we can find two well-known nice cartoons. So let's go a little bit down and where is he? Where is Waldo? Here we have it. Waldo, where is Waldo? He is a figure of a comic book from the 80s. So younger generations might not know him, but anyhow, he looks very funny here in the middle of this chip. So the next one is also a very well known guy. Where is he? Ah, here we have it, Donald Duck. Let's bring him a bit to the middle, uh, to the right and a little bit sharper. Donald Duck, very sharp and accurate. He is smiling and seems to be very happy that we found him today. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please subscribe and leave a comment below. For the end now you will see some pictures of all the art we discovered here and some other nice images I could find on other different CPUs. So enjoy the rest of the video and have a nice day.